to, and I'm back again with another movie review. Just recently I got to see a film called The Enemy, which is a um, independent film that was produced in Canada, and uh, it's about this father and son team. Actually, you think at the first that they don't really see eye to eye, and the son, Michael, is played by Luke Perry of 90210 fame, and <laughs> despite the fact that he can't really act worth anything to save his life. Um, he does a pretty good job. Um, he plays the son of a uh, chemist. We later figure out that he's a biochemist. And he's actually known for creating this uh, serum. It's not a serum, but it's this, yeah, it's a deadly bioweapon that only he has the antidote to. And uh, what Michael learns later on in the story is that the Bond with Dad project that his father had set him up on was the antidote all along. So it's very interesting. You have these characters that are all involved. Penny, you figure, she's not really part of the Canadian Mounted Police. She's CIA. And then you've got these other characters that you don't know who's friend and who's foe, but it's, it's kind of predictable in, in that sense. My only one nag about this film, other than Luke Perry's lack of acting, was uh, the synthesized <laughs> soundtrack in the background. Yeah, I could, I could completely tell that it wasn't a real orchestra that was playing the music. It's, it's not like it really matter. I, I thought, oh, maybe they're going for an effect like Witness did back in the day, and maybe they kind of took a cue from, from that particular movie and decided to go with it. And it wasn't a bad idea. It was effective. And I uh, actually really enjoyed it. The car chase scenes were really intense and extremely entertaining, I thought. It's just like any other film, like James Bond or <clears throat> the Need for Speed films, which I never really watched. I never, I've never really watched uh, Need for Speed or um, what was the other one? Uh, oh, shoot. I can't for remember that particular series. Oh, F Fast and Furious. Yeah, I just remembered Fast and Furious. Yeah, they've done a whole franchise on that. Nah, I'm I'm a I'm a gearhead, but I'm not really a fan of it. It just really doesn't appeal to me. I I like fast cars. Don't get me wrong. It's just uh, not really my thing. But I like car chases. Despite that, I'm kind of a hypocrite. And th there was a really good one. A few good ones in this particular movie. And in the end they they meet up with the the terrorist who's responsible for all these things and he's in an abandoned warehouse. I mean, this has been done time and time again. It's almost like could you please do something different? This is so cliched. But despite the fact that it suffers from cliches and uh some predictability and just the formulaicy, I think, of some films, and it takes a lot of its cues from Hollywood action movies. This is not a bad thing. Um, despite that, it's actually a pretty good film, and I would give it a 3.5 out of 5. Two thumbs. It gets two thumbs way up, just because I really enjoyed the car chase scenes, and they were so well integrated. It was a movie that kept your attention from start to finish, and you know, not to sound gay or anything, but um, the female lead, I, I thought she was really, really cute. I mean, she was hot. Um, Luke Perry, yeah, I may sound like I'm kind of silly here, but I'm not really much of a Luke Perry fan. I'm, I'm more of a fan of John Voight or John Delancey. Uh, Patrick Stewart, Liam Neeson, um, people like uh, David Spader. I I think he's very handsome. He, there's something about him. I don't know. It has a certain kind of allure I like about him. Um, um, I, I was telling my dad about this not too long ago. He says, oh, you like older men. <laughs> I thought, yeah, and your point is, <laughs> older men are more mature. <laughs> Need I say more? But, you know, it's, it's not about that. It's all about the talent that comes from these actors. 
um, maybe because they have more experience. <sighs> so, what I'm going for here, um, I'm doing quite a bit. I'm hoping that I will put up uh, my songs tomorrow. Maybe, I don't know if I will or not. I've got a ton of them to put up. Um, I've been really active. Uh, I'm going to draw some more fan art of my own persona with um, Sir Sex Bang. <laughs> Just because, um, you know, I recently went through a bit of a heartache. I, I thought I had met somebody I thought was really nice, and he turned out to be a crook and he thought I was really gullible and vulnerable just because I'm lonely. Yeah, I I may be a little bit vulnerable because of my loneliness, but Mama didn't raise no fool. The um, reason I say that is because he was saying some things that just didn't add up, plus his name was not at all Norwegian. I just thought, no, I, I forgive him, but I'm never speaking to him ever again because the, the guy was a real d-bag you know forgive my french but he was he he was just a jerk and he just wanted money from me which i cannot provide because we're in kind of financial duress at this point hopefully we will survive this month and get through it but it's kind of been a rough month and hopefully we'll we'll claw and <laughs> clamor, do whatever we have to do to make ends meet, but I'm working on a lot of different things. I don't know if you guys care, but um, I'm working on a <laughs> kind of sci-fi uh, sci-fi uh, sci comedy adventure slash Eros, a little bit, er a little bit of Eros. Um, it's called Sonic Thruster, Intergalactic Hero. And I'm going to be working on a story called Pina Colada, which is actually an acronym. The acronym of STARS uh, uh, stands for Professional Intelligent National Agents Contributing of Lives Contributing of Lives in Days Always. <laughs> and they're basically a group of women uh, that unite together in order to make the world a better place. And they work for the government doing so. And I've got a another script in mind it's called Camp Etiquette. It's basically about this uh camp that's put together for the worst of the worst offenders of Emily Emily Post and uh there <laughs> there's actually a character named Emily Post who is uh she's an army brat. She's she's the one that they call for for um for backup when they need it and she's the one that drills them army style when <laughs> when they get out of line. And this one character named Chad Hart, he's, he just gives them a whole lot of trouble and they have to bring out Emily Post to discipline him. And it's actually this is some funny stuff that I'm thinking of in my mind. And then there's a story I'm going to come up with called Magical Girl Posey Chant. It's just this whole idea of, you know how Sailor Moon Crystal's coming back out. Uh, I wanted to make my own Magical Girl. But uh, this is a magical girl that does not want the yoke of the whole um, Bishoho realm uh, imposed upon her. She just doesn't have any desire at all. She just wants to be a, a normal teenage girl and do normal teenage things. She she could care less about that other stuff. And uh, there's one I'm doing going to be called Children of the Forest. It's a script. It's about these people that live in the forest are undisturbed, unperturbed. Uh, until there's someone from the city who gets lost in the force, a child, of course, and the the people of the force have to make a decision to um, to get her back to her parents. So they risk uh, revealing where they are and and their um, safety and everything. And it's yeah, a story like that. And I've got some other tales that I'm going to be doing in the near future. A whole bunch, actually. I've, I've got stuff coming out the wazoo. So, be on the lookout for all that, and I'll keep you apprised, but uh, other than that, I've been trying to keep myself laughing, despite what happened today. I've been 
listening to a lot of ninja sex party stuff and um, watching Game Grumps and making myself laugh, <laughs> basically, even though my heart just, yeah, it hurts, it sucks, but, yeah, I'll get over it. So I'm just going to keep myself into what I'm really good at, which would be my writing, my drawing, my singing, my dancing, exercising, taking care of my animals, and taking pictures. Is, that's all I'm good at, and I'm, I'm going to try to find a better job. Hopefully I can get one. <sighs> Pretty much that's my existence right now. C'est la vie.